Hello and welcome to GameForce.blog. If you like our video blog format, let us know by leaving a comment and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you never miss one of our video blogs. Doing this will also help grow our audience on this platform. So sit back, grab some popcorn and enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. In this video we're going to go over the weapons in Valorant and give you some tips on how to use them effectively. Before going over weapons we need to understand the economic system of Valorant to buy guns. Understand the economy system. The economy system in Valorant is a delicate balance between managing your money and buying the right equipment. Players earn money by winning rounds, losing rounds, and completing objectives. The more rounds you win, the more money you'll have to spend on better equipment. Buy wisely. When buying equipment, it's important to think strategically about what you need for the upcoming round. If your team is low on money, consider buying cheaper weapons or skipping a round to save up for better equipment. Conversely, if you have a lot of money, consider buying better weapons and full armor. Save money. It's important to save money in Valorant, especially if your team is low on funds. Echo rounds, where you don't buy any equipment, can help you save money for better equipment in later rounds. You can also opt to buy only what you need in a round instead of buying everything, which can help you save money for better equipment in later rounds. Communicate with your team. Communication is key in Valorant, especially when it comes to managing your economy. Make sure to discuss with your team how much money you have, what equipment you need, and when it's a good idea to save or spend money. Manage your deaths. Dying in Valorant can be costly, as you lose all the equipment you purchased for that round. Try to play more conservatively and avoid taking unnecessary risks that could lead to your death. This can help you save money in the long run. Conclusion Maintaining your economy in Valorant is crucial for success in the game. By understanding the economic system, buying wisely, saving money, communicating with your team, and managing your deaths, you can stay ahead of the game and increase your chances of winning. Now, coming to our main topic that is weapons in Valorant. We have many weapons in Valorant starting with Classic to Heavy Demon Odin. Classic the Classic is the starting pistol for every player. It has a high rate of fire, deals moderate damage, and can be effective in close-range engagements. It has an alternate fire mode that shoots three bullets in a row, which can be useful in some situations. Shorty The Shorty is a shotgun that is good for close-range engagements. It has a high rate of fire, but its range is limited. It can be effective in close-quarters combat but it's not very useful at medium or long ranges. Frenzy The Frenzy is a compact, burst-fire pistol that can be useful in certain situations. It has a high rate of fire and deals decent damage, making it a popular choice for players who like to get up close and personal with their enemies. Ghost The Ghost is a silenced pistol that is accurate and deals moderate damage. It has a high rate of fire and a low recoil making it a great choice for players who prefer precision and stealth. Sheriff The Sheriff is a high-powered revolver that is a one-shot kill to the head and two shots to the body. It has a slow rate of fire and a high recoil, but it can be devastating if used correctly. Stinger The Stinger is a submachine gun that is effective at close to medium range. It has a high rate of fire, but its accuracy and damage are lower than other rifles. It can be effective for echo rounds or when you need a cheap but effective weapon. Spectre The Spectre is a submachine gun that is more accurate and has a higher damage output than the Stinger. It has a higher recoil, but it can be effective at close to medium range. Bulldog The Bulldog is a cheaper, automatic rifle that is good for echo rounds. It has a 3-round burst fire mode as well, which can be useful in certain situations. Guardian The Guardian is a semi-automatic rifle that is a bit more accurate and easier to control than the Vandal. It has a two-shot kill to the head and four to the body. The Guardian's high accuracy and low recoil make it a great choice for players who prefer a more methodical, precise play style. Phantom 
The Phantom is a versatile assault rifle that is known for its accuracy and low recoil. It has a 30-round magazine and is equipped with a silencer that makes it quieter and less visible on the minimap. Vandal The Vandal is a high-powered assault rifle that deals significant damage, especially to the head. It has a 25-round magazine, and its first shot accuracy is excellent. It is a one-shot kill to the head, and two to three shots to the body. The Vandal's recoil is a bit harder to control than other rifles, so it requires some skill and practice to use effectively. Marshall The Marshall is a sniper rifle that is a one-shot kill to the body or head. It has a high rate of fire and a low recoil, making it a great choice for players who prefer precision and long-range engagements. Operator the Operator is a powerful sniper rifle that is a one-shot kill to the body or head. It has a slower rate of fire and a higher recoil than the Marshall, but it can be devastating if used correctly. Ares The Ares is a heavy machine gun that has a 50-round magazine and can be used for suppression fire or holding down a position. It is not as accurate as other rifles, but its high rate of fire and relatively low recoil make it effective at medium range. The Ares also has a built-in bipod that deploys when you are crouched, which greatly reduces recoil and improves accuracy. Odin The Odin is an even heavier machine gun that has a 100-round magazine and can be used to quickly suppress large areas. It has a high rate of fire and is capable of dealing significant damage, but its accuracy decreases as you hold down the trigger due to its recoil. Like the Ares, the Odin also has a built-in bipod that deploys when you are crouched, which greatly reduces recoil and improves accuracy. Additionally, the Odin can penetrate walls and other objects, making it an effective tool for holding down choke points or shooting through walls. Overall, each gun in Valorant has its own strengths and weaknesses, and choosing the right one for the situation is key to success in the game. The best rifle to use in Valorant depends on your playstyle and the situation. It's important to consider the map, your team's strategy, and your own skill level when choosing a rifle. Additionally, practicing with each rifle and finding the one that works best for you can greatly improve your gameplay and success in Valorant. Well, we have come to the end of the video. Thank you for staying with us to the end. We hope you enjoyed it and have found some guidance as well.